worked out to be rippity dippity rippity dippity rippity dippity cryptic stories. The suicide voice formula is pretty obvious at this point, whether it be because you've heard some of the Dio's previous EPs or you're familiar with the classic hip hop albums that you grew up putting on in the late 80s and early 90s. Sorry, I had my mic muted. Uh, I was just talking to myself. I was like, I should get some music in here. And I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> I usually play with no music. And also, my headset was off. But we don't even have music in here. So, play with no music. my stream can hear that well. I'll have to find my phone and check. Oh, phone's right here. Cool. Oh yeah, because I was doing stuff with files a second ago. Stream Labs open on my on my second screen so I can see if anyone needs me to change music or fix it or whatever. I'm just playing in random rooms at the moment because I don't feel like making a friends only. I think I cut another one of those roach or whatever. Or no, I forget what this is. It's, it's not the pike that I'm looking for, though. Where is it? No, it's a uh, perch. I've, I got a new personal record. Nice. I'm trying to catch pike so I can do the Lesney Villa fishery. Um, the main quest, or the monster quest. I need to find perch that are uh, less than one one pound. Oh, here we go. This is another perch. I can tell because it has absolutely no uh, tension online. Yeah. I mean, at least I'm getting a little bit of money while I'm waiting for my feeder rod to get done doing its thingy. I'm just using a mini bass jig, one, uh, a third ounce with a shad two inch glowing. Yeah, this music slaps.
I could uh, do something on Filmora real quickly and play some music that I do know I like. Though I can do that in a minute. Jesus Christ. The game takes forever to fucking strike with these uh, feeder poles. Ooh, I love this one. There we go. I knew there was something hitting it. Ooh. Um, this is a Perusian cart, probably. Because I know this isn't a uh, common. Common carp is fucking quite hard. Yeah, Perusian carp. trying to get my money up because I spent a bunch of it trying to get a bunch of stuff. Uh, I did finally actually catch the, uh, I finally caught the Mad-Eye Buffalo. I was going to stream it or record it, but it was fighting so hard and I would have lost it if I tried to record. <laughs> so I had to, uh, I had to stop streaming or I had to just not stream at all trying to get that thing. See, I caught it just earlier. And I couldn't even keep it either, because it was, uh, it's 13 pounds. The highest I can carry with this is freaking like, 11, I think. Oh. Hello, game? Uh, excusez-moi. Oh, I have to click on this. There it is. Oh, I was confused. Uh, yeah, max I can hold is 11 pounds. Hello. <laughs> so I'll be trying to catch another Mad Eye soon once I upgrade my keep net. I saw 15, I was like, oh yeah, that's what I need. No, I need max single weight is 15. 
I don't need any of these. I do need a better version of this. I want one with a bite marker. Oh, this is also a good song. This is something that I current or that I just had earlier. I want to get this, but that's expensive and it's not that good because it's only 66 total weight with 33 max single weight. Uh, and this is the one that I'm thinking of getting. Uh, this one. It's got a bite alarm. It also holds three rods, which is insane. If I go to my inventory. That's what I made with just these few fish that I have. So I am slowly making back the money that I wasted. Also, I do make back more than what I spend to go to these places. I could go back to uh, Lone Star and try to get the Mad Eye again. That fight was actually so fun. I can't even lie about that. That was actually such a fun fight. Took me literally forever though. We want to find a day when it's like really high up in the middle. Right here, day four. That's what we want. This is the perfect time to get it and that would be really good as well. But nighttime is usually not the best time. It's usually mid morning when it's high. You know, or even like here because it's, it's higher than this one is, I think. See, this nearly peaks to the top, so that would be a really good time if the fish wasn't the best. Then, So I can skip straight to day four. Hmm. No, I'll just do new friends only. rod stand out. Uh, I need to make sure I have the correct rods and reels and stuff on. Yeah, so here's the invisible line. That's what you need to do it. And I got dough balls. Wait, am I able to buy dough balls from here? Oh, sick. Yes, you can. Thank the lord, because I am not going to use semolina balls for that. I'm going to be using dough balls, because that's my preferred bait. Oh, I was like, why the hell did my song stop? <laughs> I was a little confused. This is the feeder rod. Send it straight out there. Ah, 
Alright, there we go, that's better. Now it's not like blaring bass into my ears. I use a uh, voice meter audio uh, mixer so that I can mess with my headset settings. Uh, as well as my microphone, but I have to get that working. Honestly, my microphone works perfectly fine as it is. Probably got some little, little tiny bait fish. Cause this is not a smallmouth. I know that for sure. Also, when I say smallmouth, I mean smallmouth buffalo, not smallmouth bass. Cause those are not here anyways. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll keep them. We're gonna cast that straight on today. Damn, nearly perfect. Blacktail Shiner, bro. I keep your glass. When did it move over there? I got. That's when I moved over there. No, it's nothing good, anyways. This is about exactly what I did when I was catching the. Mad eye. I was just pulling and pulling because he was running. I had to max my freaking drag almost all the way. I was second to last click. If I put it all the way, it would have snapped my freaking line. So that's why I'm keeping it only on half so that if it does happen again. Oh, that was, a, that was a mistake. If I do get hooked up on another Mad eye, I need to make sure that I have my drag low so that he can run a little bit and then I'll up it during the fight so I can continue doing my deal. Alright, pull out this big bitch. The lone star like doesn't move at all, does it? I don't think there is any drifting.
motherfucker started running, bro. Yeah, this is also not a mad eye. Oh, it's just a normal small eye. Cool. Yeah, this is what. Oh. Drag by a lot. Lower it between that. This is the one big motherfucker. I can't even lie. Where is he? Oh, he's right here. Alright. Here's another smallie. Nice. Two in a damn row. Let's go. Dude, I'm the best. About the best gamer ever. Can't even lie. Well, that was actually a perfect pass. That's a good sign. That ding if you just heard that. That means that something just nibbled on my bobber. I wouldn't have fucking noticed it because I didn't even see anything happen. And it's a bluegill. The bluegills in this game look so thick, dude. Like, bluegills in real life are not that big. Or at least not the ones I've seen. That was another perfect cast. I'm so good at this game.
We got him, boys. We got him. Another blue girl. Oh, it's a golden shiner. Bubbles. They're the 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 mark of moving. Oh my god, dude, this song gives me like fucking such good memories, dude. This is uh, Steven Universe, but like the lo fi version. It's just good, though. Love it.
Holy shit, this one's a fucking monster! Sorry for swearing on my PG Minecraft stream, but oh my god, it maxes out my line! What are you, you monster? It's not even that big and it was maxing out my line! And like, it's a 1.3 pound. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. This is a six pound line, but what the fuck? It was only it was only a quarter pound. Or a quarter of the whole poundage. Hold on. Let me, let me get some of, some of my heavier line on there. This one's eight pound. Like, oh, I got a line out. My, my current biggest for spotted bass is 1.93. That one was nowhere near. This one never maxed out my lines. Uh, I can't actually look at it. That's sad. trying to catch a another mad eye. I don't even know if you can catch it multiple times if you if you've already gotten it. I'll, I'll have to see. I'll have to look that up in a little bit. Because I'm not sure at all. I think you can. I mean, I would assume so. Ah, uh, you can only catch the Mad Eye one time. Sag. Damn, them motherfuckers who got the like the highest records, them motherfuckers are lucky, dude. Hey, that's getting caught again. Those, those people are actually so lucky. say it again on on my stream i need to show you guys like i i got 13.6 pound i don't think that's very high or is it just a, always a set weight because i'm not i'm not quite sure uh all fish no it's not set wait that means i'd be in i'd be in like Top four. This motherfucker is like super lucky. Let me 
you got a 13 uh, uh, 13 double seven that's incredible I can't tell if she might can hear my phone I don't know oh well yeah and these people here got 13 on the dot like so that means I would be here somewhere well, I'd, I'd be here somewhere. Because these guys would first be either ahead of me or I'd be in between them. Friends, that I. Yeah, none of them have actually caught it. That's funny. Weed Man's biggest fish that he's ever caught is 7.1 pounds. And trophy bowfish. <laughs> my fish. <laughs> my biggest was the mad eye. <laughs> no, but I should have a trout in here somewhere. Hold on. Spider shark? What is that? Oh, this is this is kind of like the, the, the mad eye. It's one of those boss fish. If I, if I go in here, right? On my profile. Yeah, I've got a trophy. Oh, okay, trophy doesn't count. That's fine. Yeah, I, I caught this trophy rainbow trout on a freaking barbless. Like, when I got that motherfucker in, it strained me. That was only freaking August last year. August 11th last year. <laughs> And then that trophy freshwater drone, that was actually today when I was playing with uh, Weed Man and uh, Bugs earlier. Mm, the smallmouth buffalo was yesterday. That's, that's awesome. That's what I'm saying. Last Nevo, this was also today. The, the next day that I got that. <laughs> then I got this drought. Also on the Barbless Nano. That Barbless Nano gives you a lot of XP. That. And the spotted bass from Lone Star is the 1.97. Damn. I really love going to get these trouts. I don't know where I was getting these. Oh, was that's Rocky. Oh, okay. That's Rocky Lake. Uh, let me go map. Uh, I'm going to leave here. Because I already got plenty of money from all the stuff I've caught. I used to waste a bunch of money going here, bro. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't mind going back there again. For another day, it'd be only $300 more. Dude, I should... Mm, well, the, the problem is actually my keep net. Because there's some big-ass fucking fish there. Like, more than 11 pounds, I'm pretty sure. Actually, if I go into... If I go on my profile... Okay, this was only 4 pounds. Okay, that's fine. The rainbow trout's are the biggest there, I'm pretty sure. It's only two pounder, but I was a small boy. Oregon red band trout at Falcon Lake. So I have gone to Falcon Lake. Okay, I didn't know if I had or not. I have gone there. And I got the Oregon red band. Also, this is not a rainbow trout. That is a steelhead. Yeah, that's a steelhead. I've, I've caught those in real life. I know what they look like. That's a steelhead. Rainbow trout look a lot more like this, but instead of the red, it's more pinky, kind of like how that is. But also, steelhead are just really old freaking rainbow trout. Damn, how, why did I spend that kind of money? Damn, that's a lot of money to be wasting there. Yeah, I can't even take trophies or any of that. Boat fishing is allowed. Okay. No take restrictions, no release restrictions. And I cannot fish at night. For a whole month of 48,000. This is nearly the maximum amount of money I've had in my account at once, which was actually like, no. 
this is more close to it. This is just a little more. I had about 20k in my in my Jaeger once, and then I bought a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. it was this that I bought, so I could have three three rods and shit. I bought some other stuff. I don't remember exactly what I bought, though. Uh, I already had this. This is like 15. So, this is free. You just gotta do a quest for it. Nothing for that thing. Oh, the bell. I think that was pretty expensive as well. very high sensitivity so uh it, it allows me to get there quicker what did i buy i also got this for doing a challenge i don't remember exactly what i did to get that oh it was uh getting fast mastery wasn't that expensive. One, one K is not that bad. I'm not gonna buy more at the moment because I'm fairly poor. It wasn't buying this. I've had that for a while. I bought this a while ago and this I've had forever. I don't know how I got this. How did I get the Spirit and the Lunar? Oh, did I buy that as well? Hold on. I can go check how much that was. probably where a lot of my money went. I could buy the better version, which doesn't actually do much. I don't... Okay, hold on. I'm gonna click on it. I don't understand what these numbers are, so if anyone actually understands this stuff, please explain to me. Uh, I also want to be able to use this. I don't understand what the point, uh, point oh twenty five uh, inches or uh, quarter inch. I don't understand how any the di the diameters and stuff work. So I need help with that. Uh, um, Cause currently this rod uh, does not allow me to use this. So if I put that back in there, no. Fuck you. If I try putting this on, it says line is too strong for the rod and first damage. I can only put a hundred on it or a hundred feet, which is not a lot. Cause uh, some fish will pull really hard. Uh, so I can't really use that. And I have. Freaking 4921 feet of them all plugged into this thing. They give you a lot of it, and it's really good because it's 44 pound test. And I I need I need to be able to use that for some of the later maps. So, uh, I also have these which I don't use anymore. And I have a th this is another version of this one. I had uh, I had only two rods at the time. Or, uh, you know, I was only able to use two rods because I got this new one now. So I had this one, and then I had this one. One was for bass, one was for trout, because that's when I was going on, like, a freaking trout spree over here in Rocky and then Falcon. But for the most part, I stick to Lone Star and Lesson Villa. I want to go to Everglades, because that's where I... <laughs> that's really close to where I live. I could go down to Everglades right now and go fishing, but I don't want to. Uh, Narum River... I don't know if I don't know if some of these are actually real. I should look up Lone Star Lake. Lone Star Lake. Lone Star Lake Park, Douglas County, Kansas. I got 
have travel here real quickly. I gotta tell if this is actually the one that I'm looking at. Oh my lord, I think it is. Hold on. I need, I need to get down here. I actually think this place is... Well, I'm, I'm assuming it is because they have the Everglades. Which, uh, of course, is a real place. Actually, pretty much, it's pretty much identical, but but it's also because I'm looking at uh, Google Maps, which makes it kind of blocky and chunky. If I were using a window capture or a screen cap, I could actually show you, but I can't do that, sadly. Um, hold on. I remember that nice thing, though. Hold on. Is there like a super deep spot somewhere out here? that anywhere on the map. Uh, also, I'm going to do this because I don't need some of these. Do I have Mad Eye on any of these now? No. No. That's so sad. Oh, well. Oh, I didn't even get to fix up my first rock. How much is this gonna put on there? Oh, okay. Oh, this is the one I took off. Yeah, door. I could put another casting spoon on, or I could use my jig. Oh, I didn't even get to fix up the first rock. I mean, I have to do the walker. I think I'll do do that with the two inch glow shad.
really need to get a new mouse. Mine's so far gone. Oh, accidentally held click for too long. <laughs> Just vibing over here. Trying to open my juice. Some good damn We got ourselves a monstrosity, also known as a bass. So obviously, I know it can't be a pike if it's gonna strain my my. Uh, <laughs> if it's gonna strain my line like that. Yeah, there you go. That one's better than the last one we had, which was 1.3, and it was straining my line to the maximum. And I'm not even I'm not even using freaking three quarters. I was using just a little less than three. Where's my mouse doing that shit again?
hey, Clear Minds Meditation, I recognize you. I've watched a bunch of your videos before.
pulling pike out using this particular method with the minnows. But as always, when you bring the film crew down to the rivers like this and the lakes, you don't catch anything, so hopefully we're going to catch one pretty soon. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so the bait we're using is the minnow, so you're going to need the big buoyant float, the heavy float, to take the bait. And I've actually got a number one hook on. If you haven't got the number one hook, you need the number two hook. That will do. Oh, bang, look at that, we're in. Only been there a couple of minutes, and already we've got a fish. And on my uh, fish radar at the moment, we're not at the peak time or the peak conditions to get in the most bites in the day and already we've got one in fact using this float method with the uh, minnows um, you'll be pulling pike out in the uh, grass pickerel along them reeds there all day in fact you'll probably run out of bait so it's worthwhile stocking up on your minnows um, because you'll be catching all day, guaranteed. And if you're not, you're doing something very, very wrong because this is a very easy way of catching the small pike. Look at that, there we go. A little northern pike. Give him a kiss and chuck him back in. <laughs> We'll chuck him in the net. Okay, so fast forwarded just a little bit. Fast forwarded the time just a little bit and I've edited the video because um, I say I'm spending all day here so the video will probably be an hour. So I'm, I'm not going to do an hour um, of the video. But using this method you can consistently catch pike all day casting anywhere along them reeds you can actually see the reeds now there's two sections oh bang look at that we're in there's actually two sections which stick out um in them reed in them reeds and if you can cast a little bit behind them um, you're guaranteed a fish almost guaranteed one if you're not catching it anywhere else along them reed beds but generally you cast close up as you can to them reeds and you're gonna get one real easy there we go another little one give him a kiss chuck him back in here we go again I've been, I've been catching fish all day using this method here and if, and if you don't have any bites for a few minutes oh bang we're in if you don't have any any bites for a few minutes if you if you just reel touch your reel just reel it just a little bit it sometimes can uh, make the fish take um, sometimes gets you a bite just by me just just by touching that reel and touching the line
Yeah, baby, you got a pike. Is it? Is it pike? Yeah, it is. Let's go. All right, cool. That's two out of five. Oh, Jesus. These things are so hard to catch. I had to actually look up a whole damn video just to find out what caught them uh, most effectively. And it turns out it's minnows because nothing else bites it. Or at least nothing in this lake. Or whatever you call less Nemo the fishery. I mean, I, yeah, I guess you call it a lake. Let's go! Nice! Caught him right at the dang end. I was honestly, I was honestly just kind of freaking, oh, yep, there is my mouse being dumb again. Is that drifting? Looks like it is. Oh, well, it's not like I can actually use the fishing pole to tell if it's drifting because my character has idle sight. Oh, yep, it was. I thought I saw that. I am so dang smart. Well, you come here. You bring that bean hine over here. These long green bean looking dingots. Oh yeah, baby, let's go. I am actually so glad I actually had to look that up. They said to use uh, number one hooks, but I only have number two, four, and I think six. So I had to use number two because it's the closest to the same size. Also, the dude said if you have number two, just use that. If you don't have a number one. Because they're basically the same thing. Oh. There we go, you saw Uh I think this is just a... Uh, Another one of those little dudes, uh, your band perch. Uh, I'll tell if he starts in head shakes down here at the end. Uh, no, this looks to be a perch. Yep. Yep, it, oh, it's a new PV as well. Let's go. Hmm? Oh, dip. <laughs> I didn't even notice this stuff was going off. Come here, bro. You can't even do that to me. I was like looking out there because I usually cast by my bobber so I know where they are. I didn't even see the dang thing. <laughs> it's just gone. Freaking pike smacked that thing. They really love them small minnows, huh? I'll also have to start doing that at, uh... Oh, no. I lost terminal tackle. F. Uh, oh, I lost hooks. Shiza. Oh, okay. It's alright. I have number two still. And, of course, I've got one small minnows. I don't know how that- Oh, I can put a leader on this. I should probably have been doing that. So I'm, uh... What can you use? 100%? I can not Dang it. Okay, I'll use this one. Uh, this is probably gonna be something that- I don't- I don't see it, but I feel it. Uh, I should put a leader on there, or else it's gonna be weird. We're also kind of getting out of the good time to fish, so... When I get in here, I'm gonna... Go in the next morning. Yeah, yeah. Ten times that. Oh. oh, I can't do any of that yet. Dang. Oh well, stinky. I mean, I could just, I could just look at. Yeah, see, we're at peak time, so I'm gonna stay. So I'm just gonna throw this thing back out there. I'm gonna pull out my spinning rod. 
This is what I use to catch bass and what- oh, that was my fault. I was just talking and got distracted. Uh, this is the pole I use for catching bass and like literally every other fish. Because uh, spinning rod and reel are just honestly the best because it has so much customizability. Unlike um, like match rods and stuff, which is fairly standard. You can just put um, like a feeder on it, and that's about it. The feeders are very good for catching uh, carp, catfish, and uh, you know other bottom feeding fish. Oh, there we are. This is another perch. The reason I can tell it's a perch is by looking on the right side at the, uh, like all the drags, or not the drags, but the, the tension fingers. It's not pulling very hard, so I can tell it's just a perch. I'm just looking at my bobbin to make sure it ain't doing nothing weird. Oh, it's getting hit. I'm just gonna preemptively look down at it. Oh, my light just flickered. That was weird. Yeah, it's swaying back and forth. I can see that. Oh, there it goes. I don't think I got one. I think this might just be something small because it's not fighting me at all. Yeah, is that a perch? Yep. Little stinkers. Five, five, five. That's uh, it's a bit cringe in it. Oh, that's being weird. Hello. I currently have uh, three different fishing rods for three different things. I have the one with the bobber, which is for now catching perch. Um, this one's for the one that I just cast out and I'm holding is for catching perch and uh, pike, as well as bass, because bass will also bite in the bass jig, because that's why it's called a bass jig. But also, oh, oh, holy Venus. You saw how high that thing spiked the freaking line drag? Yeah, well, I can tell this is a pike. Jesus. Oh, yeah. New PB. 1.3. Keeper. But because it was more than 1.1, it didn't go towards my quest, so I need to. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to keep them either way because I still get a lot of money for them. They're still useful, even if they are too big. There we go. Just gonna be watching out there for my bobber. It's doing some things. Oh, here we go. It's another perch. Oh, did I drop it? Oh, wow. Cause my tension got too low and I freaking dropped him. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw this out badly on purpose, just so I can zoom. Cause I want to see what's happening out there. Yeah, you see it's it's jumping. Oh yeah, it's doing its thing. It's doing its thing. Probably about a freaking takeoff or something. It's about to come <laughs> freaking spaceship. It's about to go three, two, one, blast off. <laughs> I 
Oh, there it is. Come here, you bean. Yep, this is a pike. I can tell because if I pull off to the left like that, it goes super high into the yellow and orange. Ooh, oh no, you need to get tension there. That's the only problem with uh, pulling like that, is that I can lose tension really easily. There we go, this one will go towards, yep, there we go. Just gonna throw this one back out there, grab my other rod again, and just do the same, same thing I've been doing. Cause this one's still technically cast, so. I can still just do this even with my lure out of the water. At this very moment, it's going to be a little boring because I'm just trying to get this part of the quest done and then I can start trying to catch the monster fish after. I think there might be one more part to this quest and then the monster fish part. I'm still a little bit bummed that I can't catch the mad eye anymore. <laughs> I'm a little, little bummed about that. I mean, it's a big freaking oh well, but it is what it is. I mean, I could just throw this thing out here. Okay, good. It wasn't too short. If the bobber gets hit first, then I'm going to grab it. Because the shad can wait at the bottom as, as long as it wants to. It doesn't actually matter what it does. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was going too fast. Usually I try to be straight slow with the shad and bass jig. Rather than just being straight. And I can also still do this while I'm doing that. I don't know exactly how realistic this game is. I don't know if I'll be able to see my my jig get smacked by a freaking fish or anything. Yep, you can. You can see it get smacked. I totally- I saw that freaking dude. Ah, here we go. Let's go. Nice, now the pike's been spinning. Let's go. Alright, now I can pull this back in. I will wait till that till the thing gets smacked again, because that'd be funny. And also, I can hook up on it while I'm holding it, of course, because it is up to that standard of realism. I don't have to set the rod down to get a bite. The problem with trying to see if I can see the fish bite this one is that I can't actually see where my lure and stuff is. I only know where the bobber is because it's floating. And then with my bass jig, it's always closer to the floor, but you can't actually see the floor on this map because that's just the reflection of trees. I think if I get the polarized glasses, then I probably could, but those things are expensive as hell. And I don't have that kind of uh, bait coin to get, to get all that. Also, the only reason the bobber is so big is because it's, it's a part of my settings. I have to have it big so I can actually see it. I could have it look, like, realistically small, but that just wouldn't look good in my opinion. Because I want to be able to actually see what's happening to my bobber. Like, even when I'm not zoomed in like this.
Sorry, I'll put my music back on. I didn't realize until just now that it stopped. Oh, okay, we'll play this video. Oh, this is good. Oh, yeah, this is a good song. Oh, working on your new car? Nice, dude. Send me updates, bro. I want to know what you're doing with that thing. <laughs> what you doing with that thing today? Bro, last night I watched your Project Stang video, dude. I, I, I almost cried. I can't lie, dude. <laughs> Can't lie, bro. I almost cried about that shit. <laughs> and yeah, bro, are you gonna are you gonna post that Rocket League video tonight? Yeah, vibey music. Yeah, I've just been playing some lo-fi hip hop. And of course, you know it's royalty free, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter what I play as long as it's royalty. Like if I could, I'd play Suicide Boys, but you know some of their songs are a little, uh, a little too exciting for this kind of gameplay. <laughs> All right. Oh, I need to move my mask back. Nothing's really happening, so I'm just gonna go ahead and reel it in. I do miss your your freaking O3 musty, bro. I loved that thing. You posted earlier. Oh, nice. I'll have to watch that tonight. I'm probably gonna stop streaming in a little bit. Uh, I've been going for like an hour, almost two hours now, so we're doing good. Also, tell me if my audio levels are good or not. I do think I need to turn my mic down because I was just looking at Yum Yum peeking it. Are you going? Yeah, we can hop on call, dude. I've been trying to get someone to talk to because I'm like so bored. Just call me whenever you're ready, bro. I'll move this corner to the right. Oh yeah, I never, I never showed Grandma the intro and outro I made for you. Yo. What's up, gamer? What's up? Oh, hold on. Oh, hello, hello. I gotta What's move. Up, I gotta move my. I gotta move my mic down and fix my sensitivity and then fix my audio back on stream because it's gonna be louder now. Uh, testing. Yeah, oh well, yeah, I gotta turn that down. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, okay, yeah. That should, that should be fine, 22 decibel. Yeah, bro, I'd, I'd stream go down to play this for you, dude. <laughs> Usually, it's just normal lag stuff. I don't need to worry about any of that. Damn, there's a lot of people joining our Discord channel or, or our Discord server. Which one? Uh, J and J Gaming. That's my streaming group. A bunch of my buds. Uh, no, I don't. I'm not in that server, so. Yeah, <laughs> I know. have to be a streamer to be in the group all you gotta do is just, like post youtube videos honestly i will be posting honestly, like no, videos the that. same way you do I, I will be posting videos but just mostly streaming because it's it, it's more my speed i can do whatever i want when i want to also with streaming i write my own dang hours <laughs> i don't have to be up to a schedule if i don't want to be because i was gonna stream this morning but i decided not to and then i Got back onto this game and started streaming. I'm re-downloading it, so. Nice, nice. So we can fucking stream together. Yeah, right. Perch bully now. Hmm. It's time to get out your sturdiest tackle and conquer the feisty perch bully to save the entire ecosystem. This lovely little pond. The monster is quite a ham. Quite hard to find, so make sure to look at the pond's most remote spot. Pike Finn's lure and cast them on. Alright, I'm tracking that mission. I'm gonna go ahead and leave um, 
Maybe the, the lessons in the fishery. Dude, I caught the Mad Eye Buffalo just earlier. I was gonna record it, but because it was fighting so freaking hard, I literally fought that thing for 40 minutes straight because it kept running through my line. And that, that's the level one boss fish. I'm onto level two now, which is uh, Lefty Villa. So I'm I'm just vibing with this stuff, you know. <laughs> that's all that shit music. It is extremely vibing. I know, right? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Dude, He's like, let me put on some music. Up got, got I know so hard. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I right? walked downstairs to get me some juice, and I told Grandma, I was like, "Yo, I'm streaming fishing game. If you want to tune in." She's like, "Oh, this is some good dang music." And I was like, "You damn right it is." <laughs> right. <laughs> I only. I seen the name and I, I read it. I'm like, I know who that is. And then she was like, "Yeah, how you doing, man? Like, everything all right up there?" I'm like, yeah, I'm just chilling. Right, right. <laughs> I don't Sorry. know. Hold on. I'm gonna look up a video real quick. Oh, oh, this song is hard. Okay. This one's called Overjoyed by like Lakey Inspired. He's a good one. What I the muted hell? your streams so that I don't hear you twice. So oh, yeah, you're good. I'll send you yeah, the, the right. link to this uh, soundtrack if you want to play this during your streams. This is such I'm a good far listening while you edit. <laughs> I was actually listening need to, to these start songs recording a little more. Yeah. yeah, dude, if you play Rocket League, just just do some editing, man, or uh, recording. I mean, right. Like any anything that huh. looks good, I'll I'll edit for you. You already know I would. Right. I, yes, I sir. absolutely love editing. I, I told my grandma that. that. Uh, she she was like. I asked her if she wanted me to edit videos for her, and she's like, no, I actually really enjoy editing. And I was like, I do as well. And that's what made me want to start editing for you and for J&J. &J. <laughs> and then when I edited your video, I was like, dude, yeah, oh. I forgot how fun this actually is. I stopped posting videos so long ago, but streaming every once in a while, you know? Mm -hmm. And now I've got my whole streaming like software and whatnot set up. No more auditory issues, none of that. It's just my microphone's a little tweaky. So my stream can't hear anything anymore. But I'm gonna watch a video real quickly. Yeah, right. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Bully. Monster perch bully. Uh, it was only a four pound fish. Really? It's only four pounds? Dude, the, the mad eye was 13. This shouldn't be too hard. It, is that a carp? Okay, I'll have to look at this in game so I need to unmute my stream now. I think it's a carp fish. Hold up. I mean, fish. And it's called Perch Bully. Perch Bully. 
Yeah, it's only six, uh, six feet. It's only six pound fish. All right, that's not that bad. I'll have to um, send you some video so you can show uh, Patty out of my car and the uh, process. Yeah, bro, for sure. So you can see what's on the hook. I don't know what this is. I don't know what the perch bully kind of fish is. It looks kind of like a bass, but at the same time, it looks like a perch. Hmm. I think it might just be a giant perch. It might be. Yeah, I think so. It's just a bigger sized perch. Uh, yeah. I see it on your stream now. Yeah. It's probably just a monster size. It might be a man. Yeah, because it doesn't, doesn't it kind of look like, doesn't it kinda look like the Euro perch? Yeah. Got the same fins shape. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I bet. I want to go on a day that's better than this one, though. So I'm just going to load well, it. We up. looked it up. I was sitting outside talking to guy just a minute ago about certain parts that I need to buy it for um, my car next check. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about the distributor for it. The MSD propylene distributor for it, and it's like four hundred dollars. Actually, I'm gonna go back to watching that video. I I closed it, but I need to go back and watch it again, um, because I didn't see exactly what he did when he was catching it. Right. Oh, I put pike bully. I meant perch bully. Ah, oh, he's doing stop and go. All right, so that's what I got to do with this. Go to rod one, pike fins. Um, okay. I don't know exactly where he was when he was cast out of there. I don't know what part of the map he's on. But I'll cast out the view and see if that works. I mean, it is a spoon, so it makes sense that I would do stop and go. Uh, second song in that, uh, that video I sent you? Mm-hmm. weird stuff happening. I'll just do straight slow for now. Something I'll bite eventually. I need to unmute my desktop audio on my stream again. Alright. Now it switch to the area. I think this would be the area, so I probably want to be here. Ah, uh, yeah, he is on this side, I think. Yeah, that's where he was. Alright. Oh, he was at this dock. That's where he was standing. He's at the dock that I always stand on when I'm fishing. Whoa, how'd you do that? How do I do what? 
pull up a tablet like that. Pull what tablet like what? You just pulled up like a tablet on your string. It, on string. Oh. Oh, you're talking it's about. Like, you talking about this? I don't know. I can't see it string delay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. You'll, you'll see in probably like five seconds. I, I loaded up the game to get mine sent down with it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what map are you on? Lesney Villa Fishery. You should be able to join me. It's a friends only game. I don't think I have that map. Uh, you should. It's, you get it early on. You're like level 10, aren't you? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus Christ. I got onto it and it snapped my line. I needed to turn my drag down. Which one is Ooh. it? Uh, it's on the other side of the world. It's in, it's in Europe. It's a uh, Czech, I think. Oh, okay. I, I see it. Here it's a uh, Rybarski Domal, which I think is also in Czech Republic or uh, Czechoslovakia. Um, okie dokie. Um, by the advanced license for a day. I ain't worried about it. So I lost one of my pike fins, uh, lures because. <laughs> I snapped my rod. That was not fun. Uh -huh. So that means I need to turn my drag way down. That's my setup. Ah, uh, that should be fine. Also, the tablet thing I... Yeah, you joined me. Uh, the tablet thing I pulled up, if you click M, it's your map. You get to also put markers on the map to see where all of your... Uh, like, that's cool. Wherever you want on the map so you know where you want to go. Never even knew that for a thing. Where are you at? That's I think uh, I see you either way. If you're gonna yeah. spawn in, I'm on the very bottom. I see you. Yeah. Look across from you. Uh, to your yeah. right. I have I have my rod cast at the moment. Yeah, I'm about to be directly across from me in a second, so. At least I know now if I do get cooked, hooked up on the perch bully, I just need to not freaking uh, yank the rod to set the hook. Or else I'm just going to break my line. That thing was actually nasty, dude. Like, that thing fought harder than the Mad Eye, and the Mad Eye was 13 pound carp. I also don't think I can actually get more of these lures, so if I lose them all, I, I lose. Oh, hey, hey, I see you now. Ooh, I got one. Where did I get? I don't know. I forget. How, how do I set drag? Uh, I think it might be your up and down on your mouse wheel, but for me, it's plus and minus. Corresponding to plus and minus. 
It might be the yeah, same for it's, you. It's plus and minus, yeah. Okay. Because I'm still playing on my older settings, so I don't know what I've changed and what I haven't changed. Aside from, like, my audio settings, which I change all the time. I don't know what I got, but it's quite what... Yeah, yeah. Oh, Northern Young Pike. Or Young Northern Hi. Pike. Nice. That's actually what you need to uh, to do the the quest that I'm doing right now, the uh, the perch bully. You actually need to catch five of those that are under uh, pound one point one pounds, and then you get five of the pike fin lures, but you only get five, sadly. I'm not getting any bites, not even from normal pikes. I have one. Ooh. Got a bite now, though. I got one. Okay. So I don't seem to be fighting with me that much. She's a runner, she's a track star. I have my drag turned down to just above half, so I'm not getting into red anymore, so I have uh, a very small chance of snapping my line again. I forget, how do I... How do you oh, I got two bolts, okay. How do I change my bait? Oh, um, did, I just, did I just catch this thing? I think this is it, hold up. It's actually, like, I can't reel it in, even though it's in the air. There we go. There it is. <laughs> Let's go! I got it! Oh, and I can keep it, too, because it's under 11 pounds. Let's go! <laughs> oh, that was so uh, good. That was so good. Oh, nice. I got an extra 920 EXP, two bait coins, and almost 2.5k. Free money! GG, gamer. GG. If only I had the Mad Eye Buffalo on record, bro. That would be so awesome. I should have started. Man, I'm such an idiot. I should have started recording the moment I started trying to get that dang thing. Because I knew I would get it anyways. Ah, oh, screw me. <laughs> uh, backpack. A ferocious predator, unlike any bird you've ever seen, relentless hunting down its prey and devouring any fish it can bite its big mouth and razor sharp teeth. The perch bully can be can only be caught using a special type of lure. Hmm, so it is just a really giant monster perch. Do I not have a big enough bag? I'm I'm just here. Uh big enough bag? Um if you two if you rods, two your... reels, two. Uh, okay, yeah, I need to buy a bigger bag. A bigger bag for what? For your having more. Rods? For all my stuff. No, just having more um. More bait and stuff. Um, oh yeah. Uh, that would be in terminal. Or no, that'd be tools and equipment. It would be waistcoats. What level are you? Oh, you're level 10. Nice. Oh, yeah, and no, I was right. It is in check. All right. Looks like I don't need to be in Lesneyville anymore. Got all the money I needed, and I'm gone. I 
am still trying to get my money up because I wasted so much on some dumb stuff. I mean, now I'm at 9k, which is decent. I'm getting, I'm like half of what I was. So I had nearly two, uh, 20k at one point. Okay, so the Everglades is the highest map I have right now, and it's level 18, and I need 7,500 to go there. Yeah, I don't think I will. <laughs> level 12 for the Gim uh, Tanezuin Canal. I'm gonna go back to Lone Star and continue catching bass and pike and whatnot. Whatever I can find, honestly. I also need to check uh, Grass Picker and see what the hell they bite on. Because if they bite the same thing that the Northern Pikes do, yep, small minnows, I can easily catch them. I'll make a friends only room so you can join me if you want to. Back on a heater and swap this back out for. Mm, what am I gonna swap in? Mm, I won't do the bass jig, I'll do. I'll just do my casting spoon like usual. Swap. Doesn't go there, for God's sake. Alright. Uh, I gotta leave this real quickly. I need to go into the main shop so I can actually get a new rod stand for two rods. I wonder. Now I have an actual use for having three rods. One of them I, I just constantly cast and reel, and then the other two I let sit and do their thang. Do their little thangy thang. While I do my little dancey dance. <laughs> So I didn't mean to go in a random room, I'll just turn it into a friend only. I'm a, I'm a little confused on why I can't use certain things on this route. Uh, if you want to share your screen on Discord, I can help you out, bro. So look, like, this one had that on it. That's fine. Yeah. That's but what is it? What about this? Uh, that's a telescopic a rod. So you can I not use that? Uh, I just want to okay. use normal hooks. You have to put a leader on it. So go to your lines, which would be the little spool. Uh, you have a mono leader, but it won't go on. So then I know that's a leader because that's the, the symbol for leaders. Also, take off that mono. I need to know what that is. That was only three pound test. Put on that fluoro uh, 0 0.8. Put on the 196 version that you have 196 of it. And then cut it max. There you go. You have 196 feet on there. Um, and then you won't be able to use the mono one. 
Uh, go to, you see the little spoon, which is the very bottom lure? You ever use a casting spoon on that? There you go, and then try to put a leaf on it. It'll be in your lines. Okay, no, you still can't put that one. If it's grayed out, that means you just can't put it. 0 0.004. Four. Okay, so that's what, that's what I gotta have to sell. 0.004, right? Also, that's too weak for it anyways, because that's only a 2.6 pound liter, so you're better off just using your floral line. Uh, but go in there, it'll be in lines. And then get a get titanium leaders, those ones are the best. And they're fairly cheap still. I don't think. Uh... Uh, what poundage is that? 0 0.04. Or the 0 0.04, I meant double lot 4. I. It's the one at the top. Top and middle. Which one? Mary? In the middle. One to the right of that. Uh, that's 7 pounds. Buy that. It's only 33. And then see if you can put the titanium one on. It'll be in your bag. Yep, there you go. You can put that one on. So it's just the mono but, one does but I, not work with that. But I want to use a regular hook. Regular Bait. hook? Do you want a bobber bill? Yeah. Hmm, hold on. I can help you with this. So what I have a bobber on is the narrow or Nero. So if I go to rods, I think it's a match rod that I have for it. Well, I need I need to leave my game first so I can actually go into the shop and see what I'm looking at. It'll be a match rod. So if you if you hover over rods, you can select specific what type of rod. Match rods. Oh. They are a little bit expensive, but also they are worth it. So that one can catch you three to six pound uh, uh, fish line. Oh, um, uh, you gotta put a reel on first, by the way. I have a reel. It's in your backpack. Okay. It's at the very top. And then put on that fluorocarbon line. It's in your home again. Oh, it's on your other one. Never mind. Uh, just put on the 164. 164. And cut that max length, of course. And then backpack, put on the titanium leader. Duh. Uh, put your glowing pair on, put your hook. You have to put a hook on first. Yep. Number two hooks, and then blood worm. There you go. Uh, if you want to catch specific fish, like if you want to catch, um, fuck, what are they called? Uh, smallmouth buffalo, I recommend using dough balls. Also, you see that little bobber symbol right next to your floral line that's on your pole? Put that up to 35. Alright, so drag it up. Yeah, there you go. That'll be the optimum depth. I have I have arm. other bait right put, here. Put yeah, put dough balls on and bring put uh, also drag some dough balls from the right into your backpack. There you go. Now you can hot swap and then put whatever else you want in there. Uh, pet food will help you catch catfish, by the way. And then red worms are fucking useless because everything that bites red worms also bites dough balls. Plus carp. Okay, uh, anything else? Anything else I can use? Um, I should be good. No, you should be good. Everything looks fine to me. I do have a rod stand and a fishing net as well, so... That's good. Uh, where are you going to be at? Lone Star Lake. I'm going to make this a friend-only private server. Uh, stop sharing my screen. I fixed that. Thank you. You're welcome, gamer. Right, I'm gonna throw on my feeder rod to hopefully get me some carp and carp. Uh, spawn next to the, um, next to the lodge, if you can. It'll be the spawn on the left side. stand uh, right there <laughs> put that one on the stand as well you already know what it is one and then i'll just go 
I'm just gonna throw my bath line out there and see what I can get. So I'm running for carp, pike, and bass all at the same time. Ooh, I got one already. Uh, okay. Nice, GG. I don't know what it is, but... Also, by the way, the, the uh, smallmouth buffalo pulls and fights for a while. It might be what I got. Cause that's why I told you put dough balls on. Cause that thing, that's the oh, oh, that's a bass. Yeah, I can tell that's a bass because it pulled my line so hard that it went to red, but it did not snap. Oh yeah, oh that's a big one too. <laughs> Hell yeah, 144. I caught the same one. I spotted bass. Nice. You got a spot it on that? Nice. Yeah, but I, but that was with my regular reel, and not. Uh, Something's on this. It's a pike. I know that for sure, because pike's the only thing here that would bite whoa, on this. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Something's on my other reel, and I can't pick it up. There it is. By the way, you only... Oh, a spotted bass eats the middle. Yo, I'm double bassing at the moment. Oh, that's so epic. Uh, I get by, on by the way, the way the the rod sand works, if, a gold you're, shiner. Hey. if you're hovering above it, see, I have rod three down, so if I just click three right now, it'll auto pick it up without having to look down at it. So that's what you should be doing if you have a rod stand like that. I also might need to turn on environment volume. Even though I don't think environment volume actually does anything. Environment yeah, I had no idea bass actually bit the minnows too. I thought they only. Oh well, I'm kind of dumb. I should have looked at it honestly. Oops, no, I didn't mean to pick it. Please. Oh well, I will. Uh, I'll, I'll pull it in and re-throw it out because my bait might be stolen by now. can't actually hear my bells too well anyways. I'll throw it right out there in the deep end. Yeah, I'll see how low that goes. Okay, only five feet, that's alright though. Pull out rod one. Just tell me that again, so it must be something. So. Ooh, bass on. Let's go. Ooh, he running, he oh, running. Crap. <laughs> Why are you very <laughs> joke? Dumb, dumb, bubble gum, leave me alone. Chicken ball, skin tone, leave me alone. Looking dingo. Uh, how do I switch bait? Uh, well, I don't I don't know if the control is the same for you, but hold Z or, and then scroll. Yeah, it is. It is that? Okay, cool. Nice, spot a bass. There's some pet on there, see what that does. Yeah, the time's not very good right now for catching, like, carp and stuff, so... I'm probably gonna have to reel in both of my lines and then switch my time.
Gotta be. I'm pretty sure this is a pipe. Yeah. Wait, no, it's bass. Let's go. Oh, that. Oh my God, that's nearly my PV. My my PV right now is uh 1.97. This thing's 1.93. Holy jeebus. That's <laughs> I love how I just have a little minnow hanging from my freaking leader at the very end. That's so beautiful. Alright, I'm gonna switch the time to about here so it's much brighter and easier. Jeez, that's a lot of exposure. It's much easier for me to see what the hell I'm looking at. And I'm gonna go ahead and set that down on the rod stand. I'm glad I bought this uh, dual rod stand because now I can have both of my, my feeder rod and my bobber rod out there. Nothing seems to be biting at this mini bash jig. So, what else do I have here? Inventory. Also, make sure you change your time. What's my time? How do I do that? Well, I have a, I have it set specifically. Well, I don't know if I've changed this, but it should be T for you as well. Unless I did actually change my key binding, and then you want to change it to where it's highest. The I have highest... to reel my other rod in. Yeah, you have to you have to reel all your rods. Whenever it's at its peak, that's when fish will bite the most. Finally getting some action. Skirt! Aw, oh, no, it's just something little. Some little gremlin took it. Man. You ain't even worth the trouble. He's probably a bluegill. <laughs> nah, it's a golden. It's a golden shiner. Still just as bad, though. Mm. I mean, I'll take it. Right. <laughs> Not exactly what I want. I'm saying like anything's biting at this pet pool. For for the catfish, it's also better to have a feeder rod, which is uh, a match rod as well. 
I don't have enough stuff to hold three rocks. You gotta make sure you're the correct level to be able to use them. Danger Taco has started streaming. Oh shit, <laughs> I caught a bluegill. Oh, it's a trophy bluegill. I right, am keeping that. But also I got some hooked up on rock dude. Pick up rock dude, pick up rock dude. I got, yeah, that's what I was struggling to because I have something on rock dude. It's probably not. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little like some, bluegill. I got a big old Oh no, it's a panfish. Oh uh, no, pa it's bluegill. Panfish is bluegill. Uh, panfish is any of the small, like, variants of fish. What do we got? It's a spotted bass. <laughs> that motherfucker was running. <laughs> he was actually running so bad. I reeled in mine. I just see my my rod bent in half. I'm like, oh lord, lord have mercy. What the hell is it? That's some weird ass. Don't put the rod down, you know. I'm honestly glad I started playing this game again because it really helps take the stress away. I mean, shit, dude, life's hard. That's a damn fish. And my nut wants this that casting spoon either. Uh, what formation do you or what uh tactic do you use when using a casting spoon? Just stop, go, stop, go. Sometimes it's on the slowest mode while rolling, and same time it's just. Uh, what Maybe I have my drag set too high. No, drag doesn't actually do anything for reeling. It only does stuff for when the fish is trying to pull your line out. Oh, nice, got one. Uh, I recommend using twitching. So just basically hold your left click and then every like half a second, click your right click, which should pull your rod up. And that's called twitching. That's the best. Um, got it. That's the, that's the best way to use the cast. Got it. Well, that helped because I got one. <laughs> I say, I say nothing if it's just coming in like that. Oh, that's the blue deal. Ah, it's just some little mini me. Some little mini me. Ah. Oh, it's a green sunfish. I ain't seen one of these motherfuckers in a while. Damn. <laughs> I forgot they were even in the game. Oh. Not bugging, not tweaking. I need to take back my main rod.
I'm just waiting for my bobber to freaking start running again. <laughs> right. That shit's so funny. My luck, it'll start doing it in the middle of me catching those fish. Right. This thing's running, bro. I keep looking over to my right thinking I'm seeing you fishing, but it's actually just my stream labs. Because <laughs> it's just barely out of sync with my actual gameplay. It's like a few milliseconds off. Right. But also is the, there is this team don't want to come inside. They don't want to come home. Which rod are you holding on to right now? Your bobber rod? My, no, no, my oh. casting spinner. Oh, okay. yeah, this thing's just fight. Probably, probably a big old bass. Something. I have my drag set to one click above half, so... Yeah, that's actually what I'm doing as well. Turn uh, it up one, one two, to see what three, it does. Four, It'll come in. Mine has 12 drags. Oh, look, there, go there goes my Baba rock. Yeah, right. No, I'm serious. There it goes. No, oh, what is it? Okay, it finally came in. Oh, it's a big bass. bass. 13. Oh, my God. That's fairly medium, honestly. All right. All right, now let's see what I got on here. Because the smaller ones can be down to like 0. 0.9. The biggest one that I've caught was uh, 1.97. I was oh, saying nothing. It's probably just a little bluegill. Going, going a little wacky. It, just a little bluegill. Good thing is I have a good, um, good fish net too, or fish hut. Can hold up to 15 pounds of fish so mm -hmm. mine holds 55.1 in the max fish weight like per fish six mine's is, mine's 6.6 6. nice uh bait was taken shit i was too i was too late i'm so bad at this game dude i can't i shouldn't even play this anymore i'm so bad <laughs> i let my kids in rocket league oh. <laughs> goes and plays rocket league I should play this game. I don't even have any alerts set on my stream labs yet, but honestly, I think it's for the best because I don't want to. I don't want to be playing a game and then just get fucking blasted. Damn, you got Crappy. a half pound white crappie? Nice. <laughs> I like how you call it a crappy and I actually say the correct name, which is crappie. I don't care. <laughs> Ooh. Carp ride going cray cray. Oh yeah, it's, it's a carp. It's going cray cray. It's a big boy. We love it. We love to see it. No! Fish escaped because tension was too low. I pulled too hard. Like your mom. <laughs> Let's see how deep that part is. It's only five point. Yeah, there, th this place is not very deep in the middle. It is around the edge, though. Or, uh, on the left side. Oh, car prod just ring a ling. Ring a ling, ring a ling. Ah, uh, it's just a small one. Of course, there. Look, there go. There go. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my bobber is completely underground now, so I have something, and I can't reel in him faster. And it won't. And you know what? It's fairly. Yeah. Easy. Oh wait, I'm looking at mine. Shit. <laughs> Golden trainer. Nice. Whatever it is, it's pulling. Oh, you're not streaming anymore. All right, it's all right.
try that. Yes, I do. Hell yeah. I love this juice so much. Passion fruit juice is literally my freaking life. Chipotle is my life. <sighs> oh shit, I got a little dribble dribble on me. <laughs> Oop, Watch my buddy. He, ha uh, he has one, obviously. And I watched it leak out of his pants. <laughs> what? Uh, babe. Oh. <laughs> he had it out in my garage because he was outside with me. <laughs> oh, and obviously, wow. my dad doesn't like that. Yeah. And we walked back up towards the house so that, you know, I could get ready for driver's ed and stuff. And we got about halfway up. He looked down. He's like, oh, no. I'm like, yeah, I don't do that. Yeah, you're not supposed to put those things in your pocket. Like, the disposable ones, those ones are aight for that, you know? But, like, the ones that you can refill, like, with the tanks and whatnot, those things leak. So far, I ain't catching much on the bobber, but... The, the carp rod's doing good. Doing fine with my with my bass rod as well. Honestly, Lone Star is the best way to get money. Even like the higher level players, like the professionals and shit, even they say that because the bass are so reliably like high in price. Oh, um, and speak of the freaking devil and he shall appear. Actually, no, this is a pike. Wait, no, it is no, it's a crappie. Oh, cool. I saw it was doing head shakes when it got really close to me. I was like, oh, no, that's a pike. Because pikes do that, too. They head shake a lot. They do a little wiggle wiggle toward the end. <laughs> well, I guess I should take down the text that says solo gaming because I ain't solo gaming no more. I'm with Sorry. the boys! This, this one's tight, I can't look for it. The reason I put that there is because all the other, uh, the boys with our group are all playing Goose Goose Duck right now, and I was like, yeah, I don't really feel like playing that at the Ooh, moment. Ooh, another you know? fast. So I was, I was trying to Ooh, do some challenges okay. and get some quests and 30, stuff. 30, uh, 1.3 pound fast. Okay. Nice. You got a 1.30. Yes, yeah, sir. That's a big nice one too, a 13 nice inch bass. Oh yeah. Another one that quick, okay. This one seems to be fighting real big. Oh yeah. Because this one was pretty far out there when it caught on, so. Mm -hmm. I had my drags hit two clicks above half, so Let's see how this goes. The fish in this game actually do have a tiring setting, or uh, like a system that makes yeah. them tired after a while of fighting. Which is actually why I caught the Mad Eye, because I was putting so much freaking pressure against him. <laughs> I don't want to like, put too much because I'll stick my line. Uh, that, that's if your drag is too high. You can lower your drag and it won't snap your line. You, the only problem with lowering your drag is that it can start to run if it needs to. Oh, look, it's, look, uh, there, uh, there goes, oh, there goes my second rod. <laughs> You're not sharing the screen, so I can't actually see much of anything. Oh, you can see mine going crazy, can't you, from your screen? It's actually going over towards you right now. The game has a lot of player lag. So anything you do right now will happen like a minute later. Not, not really, it's like 40, 30 seconds, something like that. I can share my buoys with you if you want to see where I'm casting to. Because there, there's a big area, like I have a- I have He a must have got off hook. because it stopped. Because what stopped? My hook, my other rod, it must have stopped. So he must have either got off or took my bait. 
Or both. Uh, yeah, if it, if it gets off, it takes your bait. And this guy says fight. The only thing it doesn't that does not apply for is like jigs and shit. Or hard. Oh my god, that's a big bass. Oh yeah. Is that your PB now? No. No, okay, so you've gotten something bigger. Actually, I could check right now what, what your biggest bass is. Fish, friends. Oh, I can't see yours. Oh, well. Uh, players, you. Your biggest is a 1.974. Okay, okay. Oh, wait, no, I think these are mine. Yeah, because you haven't gone to Colorado, have you? Young Northern Pike. Young Largemouth. Yeah, I think these might be mine. Well, I don't know. Yeah, because Bassmaster 1, that's mine. I know you don't have that. Bought a bass, 1.74. And then, uh... Uh, what, what is I your... caught a, color, a Colorado Golden Trout's one and a half. So you have gone to Colorado, okay. Weird. Is that a level 10 map? I didn't think it was. Oh yeah, because my biggest right now is the Mad Eye, and then a Trophy Freshwater Drum, the Perch Bully, and all that. Spotted Bass is my biggest right now. The Spotted Bass is your biggest? Nice, dude, nice. <laughs> I think that's funny. It actually says what I caught these fish on or what bait I used. And for the Mad Eye Buffalo, it was dough balls. For the freshwater trophy or er, trophy trophy freshwater drum, it was a one third ounce gold casting spoon, number one hook. Well it's number one. Mine's a number hook. two. Oh, you have a number two treble hook. Alright, cool. Mine's a silver casting spoon though. Hmm. I I have both. Uh filed Z. Yeah, so yours is the casting spoon silver uh, one sixth ounce. Yeah. Number two hook, yep. Yeah. I also have that one. I don't. Ooh! Carp rod. I just fucked up. No, it's just some little small fry, anyways. Oh well. Small fry. Yeah, it's a uh, panfish. Yeah, I think it's a black tail shiner. Yeah, that's exactly what right it was. Out. Yeah. When it jumped out of the water, I saw what I saw that it was small, slim, and it was darker colored. So I knew what it was instantly. If it were a gold or golden shiner, it'd be the same exact description, except not dark colored. It'd be like yellowy. I don't know if my stream can actually hear you at all. They can, I heard myself at first. Uh -huh. Checked in on my comments yet. For a while, so.
that's what I meant by that, the viewers. Oh yeah, carp got carp rod. I had some lady named Michelle, grandma dropped in, you, uh, Quackmaster also dropped in. He's one of the dudes that I stream with. Damn, that bell go hard. <laughs> that bell go hard on stream. <laughs> oh my god. I just got a laugh about that. That was funny as hell. Alright. Got another one on my gas spin. Nice, dude. Nice. I want to move to a different spot now. because uh, It's probably a smaller bass anyways. because it's, it's not fighting too hard. Also, there goes my... Other one too. Pike yeah, that's true. And they fight much less I'll tell you here in a second if it jumps again. Well, the pike look the same when they jump. Because they're both the same exact color. I know, but it'll be long and thinner. And it's a bass. Just a little tiny small bass. Yeah. Not special. I gotta I need to pull my other one in because it timed out. share some of my markers with you so you can see what, what I'm seeing all over the place. How did you get over there without... I teleported. Did you walk over there? No, I teleported. How do you do that? Click escape, and then you have the little markers on the map. Spawn uh -huh, yeah. Over here, so I'm just gonna here. Oh no, you're not. I'm gonna be casting into the deepest area so that I can have maximum chance of getting carp and carp tunnel. I don't see you anymore. Uh, ten point five feet. Nice. Uh, sometimes characters go invisible in this game. They're just quirky like that. Also, there you are. Oh, I love my glowing bobbers, dude. They look so good. I have one as well. Hold up. I'm gonna pull out the glowing shad now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the bass jig out. And then... Oh, where is it? Where is it? Glowing shad. There we go. Oh, look at Glowing baits are not you. Do I get to see it in I the see, I see your bobber. Awesome. Yeah, right? It's a little glowing pair. It's beautiful. You, you see mine? See it at night. Yeah, I do see it. It's on my left. I can see it in my uh, actual POV. Yeah. I can also see your line. Yeah. I see yours too. I'm glad there's no snagging in this game. Oh, there. Like, oh, uh, there goes your bobber. Huh? Oh, I don't see your bobbers. Anyway. I see it. It's going up and down for me. Uh, no, it's, it's stationary for me. Uh, it might just be getting a little further distance. Probably. It could just be the pixels changing on your screen. Yeah.
That being a stand. I hate that I bought these glowy shads to be glowy, but I don't actually see them at all when they're in the water. Such a ripoff. I mean, I, ne I needed shads anyways, so I could use the jig effectively. Oh. Uh, nice, you got a crop I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, so I can actually see my bobber and whatnot while I'm doing this. Plus, How do I have you a bell in? in my view. Uh, hold Z and then scroll. Scroll. Oh, oh, I got a boy on. Let's go. Gaming. Oh, did I just get caught on reeds? Is that what happened? Man. Cap. Thought I had a, me a bigger man. Well, I think I'm about to get copyrighted because I've gotten copyrighted from this song before. This is not, in fact, a royalty free song. This is a copyrighted song. Though it is a vibe, though. Oh, there goes Cartwright going crazy. Oh, and the bobber! Oh, no! You bet Bob. I can't pick up the rod for you. Right? Yeah, bobber's down, but I'm reeling in. Ugh. The bobber should stay on for long enough. Mine hasn't been doing too much. I'm just gonna do cheese tactics to get this carp or whatever in quickly. I think it's a carp because it's fighting hard. Yeah, bobber, still, bobber is still connected. Cause a small mouth, see that yeah, yeah, it's a small mouth. It is a small mouth. I saw it. Let's go. All right, spamming space. I don't care. Yep, bobber's still on. Bobber's still on. Take him. No, bait was eating or lost. Fudge. I was just too late. I should have let the carp stay on because those things never come off. Lol. Oh well, it is what it is. That was probably a bass, anyways. But it is what it is. I am casting into the deepest hole, however, which is why I that was probably a bass. Because bass love sitting in deep, dark holes. Like your mom. I swear, if YouTube gives me a fucking copy strike for this song, I'm gonna be really pissed. This song, is not, this song was copyrighted at some point, but it's in a royalty-free playlist on YouTube. So why aren't they getting a copy strike? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, Eternal Youth by Rude. It's a really good song, but I guess it's copyrighted or some shit. If you want, you can cast out where I'm casting. You'll get some really good hits. Also, you can catch the carp on the uh, bobber. You just have to have it deep enough down there. So if you're going to cast onto the marker that I have out there, which I need to share with you first so you can actually see it, you want to bring it from 35 to 50 on your, uh, your line length. Oh. Bobber got taken. Didn't even realize that until I just saw some weird movement. What's all that movement back there? This is probably not a bass based because it's not really fighting that hard. I mean, when I pull, there is a lot that of one. drag, so it might be it might be a bass. But it also could just be a pike. No, it's a bass. It, it, oh, you got a trophy white crop. Oh, no, wait, wait. Oh, dude, oh, oh. We both just caught trophy white crops at the same time, dude. What the fuck? Hold on, I gotta clip that. I can't even lie. I gotta clip that. <laughs> I was just congratulating you on how you got one, and then I pull mine, and I'm like, oh, it's a bass. No, <laughs> it's a trophy white crappie. Ugh. So perfect. 
just got a hit on my bobber rod while I was holding it. Oh, there it is. Yes. One after the other. This is probably a pike because it's not fighting at all. Or it's another crappie. Because crappie, I guess, also eat minnows. Didn't know they did that. Oh, hard frog go crazy. It's a spotted bass. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Oh, Jesus, I didn't expect to go that far out. Ooh, got it. Ah, uh, this is something smaller. It's just a panfish, probably. A little, little small fry. I mean, when I pull, it does get up a lot, so it could very well be a carp, but it's coming right at me, and, uh, what is it? Oh, it's a crappie! Sid. That was actually so, like incredibly bamboozling that we both got cr trophy whites at the same time. That actually like flabbergasted me. Don't seem like I'm really catching much on my casting spoon. Right. I would just use it's also not daylight light. out and the light in the light ain't shining either, so gold for that uh gold um in, in this game they actually have a system for what works best when during cloudy or dark weather use gold but during sunny with no clouds or not very cloudy use silver because it's reflective more than gold is Uh, use a mini bass jig, one th uh, third ounce if you can, because that's what I'm catching all these fucking bass on. Looks like I got me another one. Let's go. A little smally, little small boy. Ooh, carp rod. Woo! Yep, this is a carp. I just do the same thing with the casting spoon on this, or no? Oh, uh, with the casting spoon, just put it to a bass jig. And if I did can, that, but. If you can buy a uh, uh, a shad, because shads go onto those, like like how hooks. With I don't have enough money on that right now. Shads are cheap. They're like fifty. Actually, probably less than that. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Got me a small mouth. Nice. Pretty decent size one too. Can't even talk about that. Question, do I twitch it like a uh, spoon or no? Oh, uh, yes, yes, definitely do that. Okay. You can also do Bye. stop and go, so you want to you wanna hold the click for longer than you do the, the release. That's the best way to do stop and go with shads. Where's the, where's shads at? Uh, it would be soft baits. I don't, I'm not high enough level for that. Oh, you're not high enough level to have a shad? Oh, oh, oh I, I can't open menu while I'm cast on. Did you find them at least? Yeah, I, I see what they're at. Okay, good. I wish I could put a bell on my bobber rod. I could more accurately hear it. But sadly, I can only put bells on the, the match rods. That is not Discord, that is Steam. Which I can actually. live stream it for three hours bro i was thinking about getting off at the one hour mark actually now 20 minutes in i was about to fall asleep and now that i got someone to talk to i'm more energized than fucking ever
Also, because I remembered I had juice still. And I love drinking me some passion fruit juice. I probably like passion fruit juice more than I do orange juice at this point. I really like orange juice. from sitting up like that. It'd be nice you're actually catching Ooh, something. trophy white! Let's go! <laughs> yeah, like I said, dude, just cast where I... Actually, I'll show you my marker real quickly. Uh, I gotta share it with you. Uh, share. Do you see the marker right over there by the... by where the fences are and shit on, the, on my right? No. be this little green thingy in the water. It's my bobber. No, no, no. It, it's to the right of your bobber at the moment. No, I don't see it. I know I shared it with you. I just did that. It might take a minute because there is the player lag that we have to take account for. Yeah. I, I was kind of cast in that general direction where you're at. Also, how do you get your line to go out that far? Um... Do you not use right click and then cast it out like that? I do, but it doesn't go that far. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I I have really high level reels, so I have a lot of line on them, so I'm able to cast farther. Plus, I also use heavier tackle, meaning it can go farther, because you know that's what heavier tackle does. It goes farther. And of course, there's the occasional flop of my mouse, because my mouse is fucking far gone. Just like Suicide Boys. And 50 Cent. <laughs> Tupac. Tupac. Peace out. Hey, Suicide Boys ain't dead yet. I'm just saying they far gone, because Ruby getting high. Screw him, he's sober. But he can't spell sober. Y'all know us. Oh, ooh, biggin. He hit like a bitch. Ooh. Oh, Carp Rod going crazy. I need to get this little bitch in here first. Carp Rod can wait. It's bath time. Okay, it's still on, it's still on. Oh no. Oh good, I got a successful hit. Thank god. I like actually flopped it so hard, but it's not even that good of a fish. It's a tiny little dude. It's a tiny little dude. Yeah. Oh, my bait might fish. have been taken off my other one because it's, it hasn't been doing anything. Um. Okay, so you have it on the middle of the pond there. Oh, you're in a you're in a high spot, like where the ground is lifted, so no fish are gonna be there. You need you need to cast yours right where my bobber is if you can. Also, probably the reason mine is mine goes a little farther than yours is because I'm actually closer to the bank than you are. Yours is going crazy on my yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah, I see that. There we, yep, got a successful hit. It seems to be something decent. I think it might just be a grass fight. I actually don't even think I've caught one of those so far yet. Or it's probably a crappie. It's a trophy crappie. Let's do why am I catching all the trophy crappies? It's so good. Yeah, just try to get try to get yours as close to where my bobber is as possible, because it's really deep in only a small ass section. And I have a marker directly on it. So I can I can get my my bobber right in there and always get something decent on the line. Oh shit, didn't even pick that up. It's meant to go to three. Can I put? I must have my. 
I can. Ho oh, oh. I wonder if this will do what I think it does. I can put the small minnows in my carp rod. So hopefully that means I can catch bass on the carp rod. That'd be awesome. I don't exactly think that works like that. I'll try to check channel catfish. Smoke a bait, like a bait. Hmm. All right, well, well, we'll just have to see what happens. Um, it's not that far down, but... Do you still not see the buoy in the water? Uh-uh. What the hell? said my strike was done too early whenever I picked it up and wrote it. Mm, yeah, that happens. I shared it with you again. It should, you should be able to see it now. If something hits my carp rod, I'm going to be very excited because <laughs> possibilities are endless. Ooh, ooh, big hit, big hit. Got me a big old bass or something. Yeah, it's a big old bass because it's running. Running a lot of hail. Running a lot of Mother Mary mixed with Hellfire. It's going to be all disorienting for you because I'm getting right next to you. Hmm? No, you're good. I'm surprised I haven't lost my mini bass jig. I only got one of them. I have four. I, I haven't even lost it yet. I haven't gotten snagged on anything at all. And of course, the twitching is just the most overpowered thing in the game, period. When it comes to spoons, bass jigs. That one. Bass jig with shad. Nice. It's a little baby one. Nice. Yeah, not bad, not bad. <laughs> I just yeah. now see you reeling it in. I see the little fishy <laughs> swimming up on the top of the water. Okay, I didn't catch anything that fast. Let me check what the time is on. Okay, we're still on. We're, I'm still near peak, but it's gonna start going down soon. So I need to, in like 10, 20 minutes or so, I need to change time again. Ooh, no, 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 no. There it goes. There it goes mine. There she goes. What you got on right now? I don't know. Well, whatever it is, it's fighting a little bit. Something with a big old fishy booty. Big old bluegill. Big old bluegill. You got a half pound bluegill. Couldn't even lift that with one finger, could you? <laughs> Ooh. You got me some. It's a pike. Finally, I got a pike. Let's go. If I can go like right over here and get, go right next to your father. Right. I gotta check how much money I got saved in now. Oh, by the way, if you go to your inventory and then on the right side under your username, Fish Keeper, you can see how much you're gonna make when you leave. Right now, I got eighteen eighty nine worth of stuff. To leave. Gonna get hella XP though. I can't even lie to you. Eight hundred fifty for me. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave, so I'm back into morning time, and then you gotta wait for that bullshit.
Alright, I'm gonna go to my inventory. I'm honestly... Oh, I lost my... Oh, I lost that shit because I didn't fucking pick it up, bro. That's so stupid. What, well, your thing? <laughs> I lost my, my feeder because I left it in the water when I left. But it, it is what it is, honestly. Uh, I'm actually gonna get rid so of good, the carp good. rod. I'm gonna get another good. bobber rod so I can catch double as many freaking Good bats. to know that because I was about to leave with leaving my other one out. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. That's a big old bad idea. That's about the baddest of bad ideas. Alright, cool. This, yeah, this, uh, season 16 by 4 does work. Of course, we're going to put on the Callisto MG 20, uh, 2500. At risk for damage for real, I don't give a a lying up. Fuck! Excuse me. Uh, I do need to buy, however, another bobber because I need, uh, I need one that can carry extra heavy. Which is why I am going to. Oh, the pear one. Oh, I can't buy it because it's level 22. I just need one that can carry heavy or extra heavy. It doesn't really matter. Well, of course, I need to be able to actually buy it with my level. Where are we going? Uh, I'm just, I just need to buy something real quick. Yo, is that a Pokeball? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> it's called the Sport Bobber. I mean, technically, Pokemon fighting is a sport. I mean, in the actual anime, it is. Dang, I only have one of those um, glowing pairs. That's Sag. Big Sag. Oh well. Your backpack is full. Yeah, fuck you. Sweet. Um, I can get rid of pet food for now because I don't need pet food. I'm not gonna use semolina balls anymore. I can put the pike in the food away because I'm not gonna use that anymore. Because I only need it for the quest. Alright, and now your bitch ass can't tell me I got them. Because I know damn well I do. Uh, put that on. We're gonna, of course, get a titanium leader because. Duh, I already have a bunch of them anyways. And small Did I buy these flies? Perfect. Uh, no, is it not worth it? No. I, if you can buy small minnows, but I don't, I don't think the shiners. For them. No, no, small minnow. No, I don't have those yet. It'll be on the next page from then, I think. Uh, baits, oh. fresh baits. Oh, small minnows. Yeah, seven. I do have yeah, those. Level seven. It's only three hundred dollars. Buy, just buy two of them. Six hundred dollars. It's worth it. And I should use that, right? Use that on your bobber, because then you can get, um, then you can get bass with your bobber. Okay, where are we going? Uh, Lone Star, obviously. I, I just need to leave to cash in my money and to uh, reset back to morning. Uh, I guess to excuse my arms. Are, my arms are a little numb. I'm sitting still for too long. I didn't get up and <laughs> pretty much my knees or something. You got a lot of wind audio coming through your mic right now. That's good, and that's weird. Of course, we're going back to the bottom. Uh, I'm just gonna join your room. No. Like oh, a good neighbor, sleeping. your mom is a whore. Good, good neighbor, stay farm those Like a good neighbor, your mom. Your mom is gay. Right. 
inventory. This is the narrow match rod. Okay, so I have, I have to leave again because I'm using a telescopic, which cannot throw the line. It can only drop it into the water like a little ditzy bitch. So I need to go buy another fishing rod that can actually throw line. Uh, inventory. Get this trash can stuff out of here. Uh, shop, rod, match. Yeah, screw it. I'll just pay another 38 70 for, for another one. Uh, inventory. Oh, it auto put it on. I was like, what the hell? Where's my rock? It automatically put it on for me. What a nice game. Obviously, hook number two. Small minnow. Perfection. Alright, traveling back to Lone Star Lent. Because me and you are both just creeping in my stream, <laughs> my watch hours are gonna go up so well. That's such a good thing, honestly. Can't lie about that. Also, Marcus, if you have an old phone that still works, make a playlist with all of your videos that you want your like to get views and whatnot. I don't just have anything like that up here. Just loop the playlist. It also works for like Xbox and stuff. Just loop the playlist, watching all your videos on mute or whatever, and it'll get your views and your watch time up a lot, plus your ads. I need to buy a better reel so that I can hold more. Hold more line, yeah. You're what, level 10, right? Yeah. Uh, can you buy the Callisto MG2500? Uh, Let's see it. Hold up. Callisto MG2500. M yeah, but it's 4500 now. I don't have that money. Ah, uh, shiza. It's really good. It 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 holds 455 for me, or 445 for me, which means you'll be able to cast out freaking far. Is far there another one that does hold that close to that? That's a little cheaper. Uh, let me look in my inventory again. Uh, try the Aspira. MLR 2000. Oh, wait, no, that, that one's my level. Never mind, not that one. Uh, Aspira Slim 2500. That one should be good as well. That's another one that I used to use, which I still use because it's on my bobber. Aspira okay. Slim 2500. It's black and red. But I'm, I, I'd have to sell some things, and I don't. You don't get a lot of money for selling like stuff. To sell something, huh? You also don't get a lot of money for selling stuff. Yeah, I know. I need something that take, gives me a lot of money. Mud water panfish. Where do I gotta go for that? Uh, I gotta catch all that shit. But you have to pay money for that. No, I don't, because I got the mission for it. Uh, you still gotta pay for it. You always have to pay to go to a different map, unless it's Lone Star. Uh, Lone Star is the only map that does not need the payment. Because we technically hey, catch, live in Lone Star. Got it. Catch large, a uh, smallmouth buffalo and small channel catfish. You need a match rod and a feeder for that. For, for both for both of those fish, but I have an easy tactic to help you get those. All you need to do is buy the match rod and the feeder. The feeder's fairly cheap, because I also no, it's not. buy one. No, it's not. Open feeder. Not a Open feeder rod. Feed. It's a it's in terminal tackle. Or that's what it should be. Open feeder. Open feeder. Open feeder. Nothing. Nothing. 
I see cage feeders, method feeders, PVA, and spod. Hold on, where the fuck are you looking? Terminal tackle. Hold on, I'll help you. Oh, oh, open feeders, okay. Yeah. You need to buy yourself one of those, because I also need to rebuy me one, because I lost mine. Because <laughs> I'm a freaking dinker. So, I'm just going to buy, like, a good one, then. Decent sized one, then. Where are they again? I forgot. They in terminal tackle? They're actually in the... They're actually in the premium shop, but it's whatever. Premium shop? Buy that one. Oh, no, I'm not high enough for that one. Okay, um... You said they're in the premium shop? Okay, hold up. Where do I find my... thing? My feeder. It says I bought it, and then it says it, it went somewhere, but I don't see it. Are they method feeders? No, they ain't method feeders. It's K treater. Yeah, K treater. Yeah, dude, I don't, I don't see it. It'd be terminal tackle. It's probably in your home. I, I'm in my home and I don't see it. Uh, terminal tackle is the the little image with the hook, the bobber, and then the little cage. Mine ended up in my backpack, so that's where mine is. I'll throw that in my home because I don't need it now. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, I see it. So then. And they I need, need a match to... rod, but they're fairly expensive in some cases. Uh, match rod. I have a match rod. Oh, which one do you have? One of the Omni Float? Uh, uh, yeah, the Omni Float 11 and a half inch. Oh, you, 11 got, and you, got, a half you got the level one. Okay. It is what it is. Right now, I can, I can, right now I can get the narrow 14 by 10, which is a <laughs> funny number, uh, 4,200. But I ended up deciding to buy uh, a second ver a second of the narrow twelve by ten, which I already had one, which is uh, what my bobber is. Okay, so I need to get a Lone Star. Do that travel. What my fave man? What it do? Stick it creeping in the night, looking close to you. How do I do the feeder thing? You don't need to put anything in the feeder. You just need to add a hook on it and then put food on the hook. What? How do I do that? Uh, the same way you put food on a hook normally. I don't see that I can use it. Share me your screen. Because I, I don't know what you're doing. Go to your rods. Is that the one you want to change into a different rod? Yeah. All right. Uh, that's your match rod, right? Yeah. Wait, that's the wrong one. What the fuck am I thinking? Hold up. Rods. I know it's not feeder rods, but is it telescopic? No, it couldn't be. Hold on. I need to leave. I know match rods are the ones that you can throw out the bobber. I know that's what that is. Hold on. Oh, it's feeder rods. Well, shit on my bricks. I'm an idiot. Oh, well, it's always good to have more of those things. You have a feeder rod, don't you? Yep. I don't. It's, it's fine. It's whatever. I'll just go from here. I hate that they have so many fucking different rods. That's what gets so confusing. 
because also you don't need a carp rod to catch a carp. You can do that with a feeder or even a match rod. That's, that's what makes this game a little confusing. Is that it just does not make sense with those aspects. Oh, hey, Quack. What's up, Quacko? It's my other one. I don't know. I don't know. A wombie. Uh, do you still not see my marker that I put in the water? You don't see it. What the hell? Uh, you should place a marker in there. How do I do that? Uh, set your rod down real quickly and don't, uh, don't cast this. Like I'm gonna click M. Uh, click that little plus on the right side, bottom corner. Uh, just say no. Oh, that that works too. Um, no. no, take. You should take that one off though. Take it off. Yeah, go back to M, click on the mark, where it says mark, click the little can. Is okay? Click the plus again. Oh. Um. Yeah, there it is, shared by me. So you have one in the middle there, you don't gotta worry about that one. Uh, let me see if I'm, if I can share you my other ones, hold on. Just stay in your map. I'm gonna share this. Share to your mark. Successfully shared. There it is. Yeah, there, now you see all of mine. Yeah, see that little green buoy out there? That's where you want to cast to, straight onto it. That's the deepest point in the lake, and that's where you will find carp the most. Also bass, because they hide in there. Just always cast your rod straight on. Okay? Okay. Because I got two of the, the bobber rods, I just throw one out there, switch the next, throw the other one out there, and just fucking start gaming. The only thing is it does get a little confusing because I have two bobbers and now I have them crossed. But I just need to remember that. <laughs> the one that's orange is the left side. And then I can just pull out my bass rod and just start gaming. And if you see your bobber start gaming, then start gaming. Also, I recommend turning on the pro settings instead of having just the thing on the right side. You get three of them, and it, it's more accurate to what's happening. It lets you know where your where your rod's weak. There you go. See if your if your rod starts getting strained, you'll see if your line, if you're real, then you know what's what. Most of the time, it's my uh, my line and my rod, or my line and my reel that are getting all strained up. Oh, my rods are usually fine.
I like how it just now when I zoomed in, I actually see your bobber. It's so tiny for me, while mine are like actual fucking lilies. Yours looks like an actual bobber out there. Oh. We're gaming. We got him on There goes mine. Oh, let's go. <laughs> We're gaming. I think I have a pike because he's not fighting me at all. He's just straight in, but that's also because I am dragging him on the surface. No, it's a trophy crappie. Yeah, weak as well. Yeah, stinky. L little stink dink. Oh, see, what the hell am I looking at? It's because I got both of my other rods on there. I'll go ahead and shoot that one out there. Swap out the narrow now. You also gotta try to do light. What the hell? Dude, we're so good at this game. I have to get off probably within my next couple fish. Oh, okay, that's alright. Uh, Yeah, I've been streaming for like three and a half hours or so now, so I, I should start, stop streaming already. Oh, there goes nine. Oh, both mine. Oh, and one of mine. Oh, he a big boy. Yeah, that's a big old bass. Oh, yeah, it's a bass. He's running. Mine's running going out towards your first marker, bro. Running for his li Same here, dude. My little my bass is running for his freaking life. All right, he in, though. He in. Oh, yeah. Oh, he in. He ain't even that big, either. <laughs> little bitch. This guy's fighting, bro. <laughs> I see that. He is a little fighter. Jesus Christ. By the way, you shouldn't always hold your rod up like that. Cause you don't want to always keep high tension. Like, you know how in real life, when a uh, fish is fighting hard, you want to pull back and turn, and then turn back towards the fish and start reeling in with your rod downward? Mm -hmm. it, it's the same concept in this. That's how you fight a fish and tire them. You don't want to turn that much or else you lose, lose tension. So you want to turn back slowly so that you don't lose all your tension. You, you can turn left as fast as you want, and it'll just pull your tension up. But then you wanna you wanna go slowly when you turn back towards the fish. Yeah, like that. See your tension. St oh, then it dropped. That's weird. Don't know why that happened. Oh, it's because the fish is changing direction. That makes a little more sense to me. You might have something like really freaking big on. That's what she said. No, that, that's, you got a really big heart on. Which she also said that to you. Didn't she? Man's fighting, bro. There he comes. <laughs> she a one and she a track star. Come on. Oh damn, your fish is right up next to me. Dude. <laughs> I thought you reeled him in. <laughs> uh-uh. He's still <laughs> fighting. I'm totally about to cast just straight onto your fish and just try to see if I can catch him from a heel. No, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, I missed. <laughs> And there goes my 
my rod, my other rod. Shit, you want me to take that for you? <laughs> oh my god, 1.96. 1.97. That's a big uh, My bait was taken. It's a, it took too long. Yeah, it is what it is. All right, bro, I have to get it off. All right, broski. You want you want to do my outro for me, man? Hey, y'all. Uh, to Gray's stream, whatever he goes by on his stream. Deuces, we both out. See y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.